Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Canon has taken the photographic world by storm. There was rumors prior to the last few days about this new M50, this new mirrorless that was coming from Canon. And to be honest, I wasn't sure what to think because it sounded amazing, but they were also saying it was going to come in at around $780 and that just seemed like there's no way Canon was going to give us everything the rumors were saying for that price. And yet... Lo and behold, it appears as though Canon has delivered. I mean, we've got the 24 megapixel APS-C sensor, basically the same sensor that's in a lot of their APS-C cameras, the 80D, the 77D. It's, it's an excellent sensor. We've got um, a great very angle LCD. We've got a really, really good EVF. We've got 4K, finally 4K in an APS-C body from Canon. We've got, where's my spec sheet here? I don't want to miss anything. There was like six major points, six or seven that I was impressed with. So, oh yes, we have the dual pixel autofocus. So no problem. They didn't leave that out, which we weren't expecting because that's amazing. That's that autofocus that allows the camera to track smoothly in video or in, I guess, just live view mode, if you want to call it that, where the camera, you're, you're focusing through the LCD. It's, it's basically class leading. It's awesome. The EVF, as I mentioned, is a 2.36 million dot OLED EVF, so a really good EVF. Uh, Digic 8 processor, so a newer processor. Uh, it's one of the first, it may be the first, I think, cameras from Canon to use the new CR3 RAW format, which is pretty cool. Um, 7.4 frames per second burst in AFC continuous. Um, 10 frames per second in AFS. That's pretty decent. That's pretty good for for this camera. Uh, I did mention the very angle LCD. It's 1.04 million dot LCD, which is awesome. That's the LCD that you can flip right around. That's the LCD that every camera should have these days. I mean, once you use them, you don't want to go back. What else do we have? We got Wi-Fi and NFC with Bluetooth. That's good. The, the main points were those first seven there. Um, I mean, basically, the big thing for me is what I was saying before was, what I wanted in a 90D was basically the 80D with 4K, with some other improvements would be great. Um, this does have all of that and more. We've got um, the 4K. We've got the very angle LCD. Oh, and we've got a new eye focus tracking system. I think that's what they call it. Uh, eye detection mode. So that's kind of cool too. So an all for 780 US almost seems too good to be true. Uh, I'm very excited to get my hands on this camera. The other thing I should point out too is about this camera, this camera just looks really cool. It's, um, you know, aesthetics, let's face it, aesthetics make a difference. You take more pride in your stuff if it looks good. And this camera being mirrorless has a little bit different design and it, it just looks cool. If I was looking between the, the 80D, which isn't a bad looking camera, but if I was to compare it to the uh, new M50 here, the M50 is a much sexier looking camera. It just, it looks, it looks good to me. I, it, it looks neat. It, it has a, a, a object appeal. I want to buy it for just the look of it, as well as all the tech that's built into it. This is a pretty cool camera. Uh, and as I said, I'm excited to get my hands on it. I'm very excited that it kind of signals, I think it signals, that Canon is going to move forward with 4K probably in most of their new bodies. That's my guess because they've finally done it and now it just really wouldn't make sense if at least all of the higher APS-C bodies, for instance, when the 90D comes out, update to the 70, 7D, probably even like the T8i, definitely the 7D Mark III. Um, we're we're going to see 4K in all of the Canon bodies now and I, I think that's good. I'm, I'm very excited about this camera. Looking forward to getting my hands on one. I'm going to get my hands on one as soon as I can. And um, we'll do some, some tests and some reviews and show you guys what the camera can do, show you the camera. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to get one in, but I hope very soon. Uh, I'm very excited about this. But I want to throw it back to you guys. What do you guys think of the M50? Are you as excited about it as I am? Are you as happy that Canon's finally put 4K into an APS-C body? Um, what else about the camera excites you? Is it, uh, or or conversely, are you not excited about this camera? Does it not do it for you? I find that hard to believe if you if, if so, and I'd like to know why, because this camera basically is the complete package, I think, at least from first glance. So 
Interested to hear what you guys have to say? Let us know in the comments below what's your thoughts, feelings on the M50. Are you interested? Are you not? What do you like about it? What don't you like? Have I left out something that's a great feature that you're interested in? Have I uh, overlooked something that's a big negative that I should have pointed out? Let us know in the comments below. Always great to hear back from you guys. Looking forward to seeing what you have to say. And we'll be back soon with more on the M50 and anything else in the photographic world. Thanks.